Hello guys, welcome back to netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dubey and in this video section we are going to look at introduction to ASP.NET MVC. Now before I begin with the ASP.NET MVC, I would like to thank you so much for your kind suggestion and valuable feedback and your subscription and your valuable uh, motivation that you have sent me till now in my channel. So I am very thankful to all and I have gone through all the videos, uh, I have gone through all the messages that you have sent either in the social media or in the YouTube as well. Now let's without wasting any time let's get started with the MVC. Now what is MVC all about? MVC is a software architectural pattern which is used for implementing the user interface. It also separates the internal representation of the formation and it was traditionally used as a graphical user interface or for the graphical user interface coding we have used the MVC. Later it became very extremely popular for the web application and when widely used across the globe. Well MVC stands for model view controller and let me just get into all the model view controller one by one. Now you are a user or I will say a happy user. You see all the view or the user interface all the operations that you perform on the screen that you see on the screen is contained the view or to be specific let me just say view is your HTML or the data which you see in your web browser. Now as a user you see only the view but you want to perform a some sort of operations on it or you want to send the request or you want to manipulate some sort of data according to your need. So you are not going to perform that directly in the, on the view. For that you use this controller. Now the controller is the main part of the MVC or it is the heart of the MVC which receive the user request and perform the data manipulation or the data gathering or any sort of other logical stuff with the help of the model. Well model doesn't help in the data manipulation it just provides data to the controller and then controller responsibility is to bind that model, bind that view and produce the response for the user so that he can see the expected output as he required. Now you might have noticed that most of the web developers or the MVC developers or a very popular web application developer doesn't know the history of the MVC. So I won't, I don't want any one of you that you are watching this video to to be uh, to uh, to don't have any knowledge about the MVC history. So I'm going to also cover the history part in the MVC. So where does it come from? Well, it was the Norwegian computer scientist called as Trigvery Skog who invented the design pattern called as MVC in the year 1986 and it was the first design pattern which has been created by the uh, by any professional. So it was written in the small talk language at that time small talk was very popular and it was uh, written in small talk 18 framework and it was not on initially created for the web that time since as you can see in the 1986 web wasn't invented at that time so that's why it was implemented for the desktop application and the first the first the product which used the ASP oh sorry not the was used in the apple lisa now he's the guy called as trigvery stock he invented the mvc this is this point the second point is it was the first design pattern which is written in small talk and it was not initially created for the web but later on it became a very huge success in the web industry now how mvc work well this is not the in-depth or the profound uh, uh, explanation about the MVC it's just a general description or the general explanation which a fresher or a no voice can understand or they can look you are a user or I will say you are a happy user you send request to the browser all the requests either using URL or by clicking on any sort of hyperlink it is a request which a browser will go into forward or the send the request along with the headers to the MVC architecture. Now you might be thinking that what is header all about? 
well header is the external or the internal uh, sorry header is the integral information about the browser or the system that you are using it it contains the host information whether which which of which sort of site you are accessing to uh, and uh, it consists of the client information agent information that what is your browser and blah 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 stuff like that so it sent the request along with the headers to the sp.net mvc architecture now i'm going to cover about the mvc architecture in our in the depth about in our pre uh, in our next and uh, upcoming video tutorials but to understand simply mvc architecture process the request and send request response to the browser and hence our happy user is able to see the desired output according to the request that he sent it so that's just a beginner tutorial this that's why i call this video tutorial as number zero tutorial because you don't know anything about the mvc you don't know about anything about the web application this is just a simple explanation about the mvc application now thank you for watching in our next video we are going to look at the directory architecture for the sp.net mvc so thank you for now if you have uh, if you like my video tutorial please subscribe it now and your suggestions are always welcome until then enjoy life thanks for watching bye bye